Don't blink. Don't even blink. Blink and you're dead. Ah, crap, I gotta blink. Well, fuck. Hello everybody and welcome back to the community mod server. Yes, we're doing community mod again and that's because everything's kind of going slow on the community craft server, the vanilla server. We're waiting for 1.8 to come out and everything's just kind of slowed down there. So yeah, we're having a lot of fun on the community mod server. Let's see who's on. We got uh, Space who just went off and killed the dragon because, you know, everybody's killed the dragon a billion and a half times so basically it's just a it's in the way of us doing things in the end so he wanted to also try kill it with magic doesn't work what are the coordinates for the end portal um boop 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 boop, boop, boop. oh i can't go that far back crap it must have crashed um Okay, so that taken care of. Today, we are going to be looking at something that I actually meant to look at in the last episode, but I got distracted by everything else. Isn't that normal for this mod? I mean, look how much crap we have in this mod. Oh, that's something else I'm going to be playing with here in a second. But, I mean, seriously, we have 75 pages of stuff on here. We have so much stuff in this mod pack. It's, it's well... Kind of easy to get distracted. But today, we're going to be looking at Tinker's Construct. As you can see, I've already started working on some of this stuff. Uh, this, um, what the hell is it called? Seared bricks. Uh, these casting basins and casting table I found in a uh, village somewhere else. I don't remember where. But I found them in a village. And all you had to do was make these smeltery drains seared faucets uh smeltery controller oh it actually shows all of the stuff i have in there already uh and seared lava tanks and you get your ba you basically get yourself a giant pit to burn crap in and what it is basically is if you look in here you can see all of the stuff you've put into melt Basically, you put uh, bars or blocks or potentially even just, you know, like a bucket, for example. Yeah, you could put a bucket in there. And then this little bar here will slowly go up. And then when it's melted, it goes into this pile of stuff here. These are the different things that I've already melted down. Uh, tin, bronze, which I get from somewhere, combining two something or others. I don't know what. Uh, molten glass, which is, you know, if you throw sand in there, iron, emeralds, which I got an ass load of emeralds, aluminum, which I believe is part of what's needed to combine to make bronze, but I'm not sure, gold, and then down here we have pig iron. Now, I have no idea how pig iron got there. Uh, people saw that well, the sky looks weird. Anyways, people saw that I had the... Uh, furnace going and they just kind of started throwing things in there and i wasn't too thrilled um at the gourds i gave and uh yeah so uh so people started throwing stuff in there and i had absolutely no idea what what got combined to make pig iron not a clue did you melt the bucket yet? No, not yet. What I'm mildly curious about, and I wanted to save to test until I was recording. Downstairs, I have my grinder, which I showed you guys. I actually got that thing fully working. I suddenly I realized all of a sudden that I'm using the turtle. I don't exactly have to drop them very far. So now they just land here. They spawn there. They go back actually back towards the back wall there up over here and then down here 
which uh, over here are two zombie spawners now, and over here is a skeleton spawner. But I mean, I have all of this armor. I mean, insane amounts of armor. Can I throw that in to melt? That's what I'm mildly curious about. And I'm mildly curious about, um, does it have to be whole armor or can it be broken armor? So I'm gonna take these boots, that gold chest. This will test if it works broken. This will test if it works at all. And then I'm mildly curious if you can do it with leather. I really, really doubt it, but I'm curious nonetheless. And I'm not flying, so I'm not that fast. Hang on. Let me crack into bat. It's just faster to fly with, or faster to fly around. Poop. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Got stuck in my own gravestone there. Plop. All right, yeah, the bucket finished doing its thing. Now I have a little bit more iron. I don't know how much iron, but I've got a little bit more iron. Uh, iron boots. That's a no. There's no bar here whatsoever. So that's a no on the broken boots. How about the leather cap? Nope. All right, and then the gold armor? Yes. So it has to be whole armor and has to be metallic armor. Well, I have a buttload of armor. I mean, I've been sitting there uh, enchanting books, as you can see with my bookshelves here. They're completely full of enchanted books. So I've been enchanting the crap out of books. I'm trying to get a fortune. Can't find one. Can't get one. I have everything else. I have something called Spider-Man. I have something called Sonic the Hedgehog. I have something called Soulbound, which we figured out actually bind something to you so that if you die it comes with you let's throw these back in there eh, and i'll worry about melting the crap down later Wee. you might be looking at or might have seen that uh my f smelter seemed to be a little large oh hey shwangu i didn't even see him come in but yeah, uh, you might have seen that my smelter is a little bit full. Like if you look in here, I mean, the freaking tin is behind the word smeltery. So it seems kind of full. But if you look in here, you can see that it's only ever so slightly above the first layer of bricks. Interesting trick with these things. You can make them taller. So you can only make them like too high. Like uh, down here we see the hell nope okay so apparently i did it that way um but down there is the floor of it then there's this one and that's all you need you don't need anything higher you can just have basically one layer of smelting but the more layers you put on here the more you can fit into it but uh, i guess to make life easy to see or something when you don't have that much in here, it just does this. Oh, the ping iron disappeared. Completely. I mean, I had zero milli buckets or whatever. Milli buckets? I think that's what that means because you need like a thousand for one bucket, right? That's ingots, ingots, emeralds. Okay, that doesn't tell me crap. But I think that's what millibucket means, is that you need that many, you need a thousand millibuckets to make one bucket. I think that's what that means. All right. Anyway, so today we are going to be taking a look at Tinker's Construct, as I've said a long time ago. And I'm going to be explaining why it was driving me absolutely bonkers. I was raging. I need wood. But yeah, I was raging when I was playing the other day. I read the Tinker's Construct books beginning to end top to bottom. And I couldn't get it to work. And it was driving me nuts. I think it was mostly driving me nuts because it worked for other people. There had to be ways for it to work. But anyway, so we have... Um, bring back my Wiala. Uh, pattern chest, stencil tables, crafting station, which is basically just like a crafting table. In fact, if you 
put a crafting table in your crafting area, it turns into a crafting bench. You don't have to do anything else with it. Uh, but basically what it does is if you put something in there and walk away, it stays in the table, which is really cool. I like it. It's like those, um, that was from Red Power, right? Those crafting tables. Oh, I forget. Um, but I like that. Uh, let's see what else we got. We got a part builder. We got a tool station and then we got a tool forge. Uh, for the record, I don't know what all of these do just yet. I have all of the books and I read all of the books. <sighs> and I will show you what I was having a problem with. All right, so we have these this pattern chest that goes with this part builder here. Yes, I know that if I put the part builder beside the pattern chest, I can access the pattern chest from the part builder. I have the belief that if you can't do something manually, it can't be done automatically. So I start tr with trying to do everything manually. Plus, if you learn everything manually, you understand what goes wrong when things fail automatically. This is why in math class, you're taught long division on paper. Because if you just do it with calculator, you don't recognize when you get the wrong information. Anyways, uh, so we got a part builder. So what we got to do is we got to make a pattern, a blank pattern, which is really easy to make. Bloop, bloop. What you do is you put two sticks diagonally and two uh, planks diagonally, and then you have the blank pattern. And I'm going to need some wood. Now you go into the part builder and what you do is you put the blank pattern. No, 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 I'm skipping a step. We have to go into the stencil table and stamp a pattern. So what we have is we have tool rod pattern here. Then we got the pickaxe pattern. And what I'm actually looking for is the tough rod. This guy right here. So I want the tough rod pattern because all I care about, and this is really all I started caring about Tinker's Construct is this guy right here, the knapsack. And if I click on it, yeah, okay, I didn't do it. Every now and then I have uh, NEI set to the cheaty mode because I play on my personal server for testing purposes and stuff. Uh, but the knapsack is relatively easy to make. All you need is leather, some gold, but you also need these iron tough rods. So I started out trying to figure out Tinker's Construct by cr trying to create these tough rod, these tough rods. And then I did this. So I put the tough rod pattern in here, and then I put a piece of wood in there, and nothing happened. Well, if you look, it says material cost three. I'm like, okay, well, maybe I need three, two, three. And nothing happened. And I'm like, wait, what the hell? So then I go off. And I grab some cobblestone because I'm looking at the wiki on Tinker's Construct. And it's actually showing a picture of this working. Um, let's just grab three because it's supposed to be three. So let's roll on back. It takes a long time to walk, but I like being two blocks tall. Okay, so we go back into our part builder. We do our tough, tough rod pattern again. And then one, two, three. And still, nothing happens. And it drove me absolutely bonkers. I probably read all three of those books like 20 times. I read the wiki like 50 times. I was pissed. Just blatantly pissed. I'm like, why is this not working? And then Space pops over and says, oh, you're playing with Tinker's Construct. How's it working for you? And I went, it's not. And he tried to show me how to do it by taking an ingot and plunking it down on the casting table and then making a cast of the ingot. Obviously, that doesn't help because I'm going to need to start making stuff out of patterns. But if I can't get the, you know, the, the, the mold from the pattern, nothing's going to happen. So I'm like, okay, now what, um, what do I do? This isn't working at all. Maybe, maybe, maybe to make the tough rod, it's actually this pattern is for something else. That was my thought. So how do I make this tough rod to make the knapsack? I don't know. Maybe if I just plunk that down. Oh, that looks good. So if I went over here, I click to my gold, which is already on the bottom because the pig iron went bye-bye. And then I do this. Nothing happens. I'm like, crap. Because this looks like what the uh, tough rod looks like. 
And uh, this totally does not, because if we look at our knapsack, the tough rod, or yeah, the iron tough rod is diagonal, whereas this thing is vertical. So I'm like, okay, I have no idea what the hell's going on right now. And then I was playing in creative mode the next day, because I, I raged to the point where it's like, you know what, I'm done with this for today. And I figured this out. If you put the pattern here, and you put your planks there, nothing happens, you take them out and you put them back and it works. And we get our wooden tough rod. Oh, God. A glitch. A glitch is what screwed with me for two ging hours. Oh, but then we just put our tough rod here and then we go, bunk. I said, bunk. Thank you. And we wait for the gold to dry, to, dry, to solidify. And there we go. Now we have a tough rod cast, and we can put our put that bat back. Wait, did that actually say tough? Yeah, tough rod cast. And we want a tough iron rod. So we go back over here. We go to our iron. And yeah, that's how you do it. You basically find the one you look for, want, click on it, and then it'll take it to the bottom. And that's how you know you you get what you want. And then we plunk, and then it fills up the cast. And then we wait for it to cool. And then we do it again. I just need two, right? Yes, I just need two. Plunk. All right, so now I have two tough, ro two tough iron rods. And do I have leather? I don't think I do. I think I screwed myself enchanting on my books. Yep, I screwed myself enchanting all my books, and I need six leather, and I think I only have six cows, and I don't want to kill them all. And you can't really guarantee you'd get all of the stuff anyways. Yeah, there's a sheep that always gets out of my pens. I don't know why. One, two, four, five, six. Yes, so... Um, I'm going to go hunt down some other cows and gather up some six leather, and I will cut that out because, well, I'm just flying around. Oh, two sheep got out. Well, that's a problem. Hmm. All right, uh, I will be right back. And I'm back, and I got my six leather. I've also got a gold ingot. So let's make this thing. Two tough iron rods, six leather and a gold ingot, and I now have a knapsack. Now, this knapsack's not like, as far as I know, of the Red Power backpacks where you just hold them and right-click and they open. What it is is you actually go into the Tinker's Construct tab and put it in your knapsack slot, and now you have an extra slot, and it runs kind of like a chest. So you could just throw all your crap in here. Now, what I want to try, I don't know if this is possible, but I really, really, really want to try it. I suggested it yesterday when I thought it up to space, and he thought it was a great idea. Uh, where is it? Unbreaking Power, Smite, Spider-Man. Yeah, there's Spider-Man, there's Sonic the Hedgehog. I don't know what these things do. And then there's Fall Resistance, as opposed to Feather Falling. Feather Falling, you fall like a feather. But fall resistance, apparently you resist falling altogether. I don't know what the hell that means. I haven't had time to play with these things yet. I still have not got it. Somebody took another one of my books. You bastards. Paraglide, that's what I want to play with. Focus Punch, Spider-Man, Smite, Soulbound. All right. Do I have another Soulbound in here? If I have two Soulbounds, I'm just going to use one of them. But if I don't have two soul bounds, then I'm going to copy one of them. Or copy the one I do have. Yep, let's copy the one I do have. Yeah, and as a, more proof of how, like, seriously, well, I can't, I guess I can't really qualify this as OP because I have to put a lot of effort into getting these books. I mean, I spent two days just getting those books. So, but, anyways, uh, how easy it is to do this stuff. That's 61 in cartridges right there. There's another 30 right there. That's another 80 once I get all the cobblestone smelted, which is finally done. But yeah, that's how easy it is to make this stuff. So I'm going to let this thing cook 
Uh, is there anything I want to do while I'm doing that? That is a good question. I forgot what else I wanted to do today. What else did I want to do? Oh, I know what I want to do. I know what I want to do. I don't know if I can do this, but... Uh, well, let's put... Is somebody in my house? I hear a door. Yeah, somebody's in my house. And it's space! And he's got Thamium armor. Okie dokie. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, let's, 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 um, what was I doing? I wanted to make this thing, the Magnum Torch, which is a little complicated. We need a couple blocks of, or a couple logs, which looks like any log will do. We need a potion of healing, a potion of regeneration. Wait, did that say potion of regeneration too? If it does, I think that might be a problem. Um, yeah, regeneration two, instant health two. Well, crap, because I have instant health two, but my regenerations are just regular long-lasting potion of regenerations. Um, well, I guess I can blow a piece of glowstone. At least I hope it's glowstone. <laughs> and what else do I need? I need a couple of pieces of log. Uh, regeneration. Piece of glowstone. Yep, that looks like the right one. All right, and then I need two logs and then these... These things, the chandeliers. Holy crap! <laughs> All right, so I need four torches, two gold, and a diamond for each one, and I need five. All right, I need a bunch of torches. Start with that. That should be enough, theoretically, anyways. Oh, that's not where I wanted to put them. They go there. And then I need gold. I need 10 gold. So that's 9, 10. And then I need 5 diamonds. Wait, that doesn't go there. That goes there. Oh, this is expensive, and I don't have that many diamonds left. But I want it to be done. Oh, I don't need ten diamonds. I need five diamonds, ten gold. What did I do wrong? Does it go the other way? It goes the other way. Okay. So, five chandeliers... That's still expensive. Uh, potion of regeneration, two. Instant health, two. What else did I need? And two logs, which ooh, I have in my inventory, luckily enough. Log, log. Chandelier, 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 chandelier. Instant health, regeneration. Big ass torch. All right, now I'm not 100% sure how this works exactly but what it does is you plunk it down somewhere and then for like 64 blocks it keeps all mobs away uh where do i want to plunk it what the hell are you do i have voyala on wait no one you are a dark mage? Well, you're gonna die. Because I have magic resist. And you do no damage. Yeah, I put lots of effort. I got magic resistance 3 on my chest and my pants. Uh, for the record, magic resist 3 is like totally badass. Um... Let's see, that's an ARS Magicka, or an Ars Magicka, or however you pronounce it, uh, enchant, but it works for vanilla witches, so, like, poison doesn't affect you too much, and then, um, Thomcraft is severely weakened with it, 
Anyway, so let us plunk down our giant ass torch. Now what it does is it gives off the same amount of light as a regular torch, but it affects a much, much larger area. I think I think it was I was told it affects 64 block radius. But that might be a 64 block diameter making a 32 block radius. I don't remember. So I'm just going to plunk it down here for now and see what happens. Uh, most of the problem I have with mobs now comes from over here where it's still dark. So I don't know. And I have no idea if that's going to affect my mob farm over there. If it's 32 blocks, then it's far enough away. If it's 64 blocks, it's not. All right, let's see if my book is done copying. I'm going to have to do some research on that thing, and the book is not yet done copying. What else can I play with? Oh, my TV was turned off for some reason. Well, all right, it's time to do my standard go through this thing and see what looks cool. Ventium Torch. Mm, I wonder if it gives off blue light. Tinker's Construct Torch, Glowstone Torch, oh, Galacticraft. Oh, I bet you that's something that you can put on the moon and actually have it work because regular torches don't work on the moon, which is totally something I've got to work on at some point here. Uh, what I do need, and I have the stuff to make, I want to make a nice big ass chest for the Tinker's Construct building that I created over here. This semi ugly building. Oh, yeah. The, see how the everything is like flashy in the sky? Yeah, that's that's Weala. And if you turn that off, it goes away. <laughs> clicky, clicky. Just plunk that down there right now, and we'll throw all of my stuff in there, and then we can throw our patterns in the pattern chest. And now that we have that, I can go work on the other patterns. I don't know what for yet, but there's a lot of stuff to be done. Uh, I created a farm over here. Now, this is something that you guys probably knew, but I had no idea about. Plunk that down right there for now so I don't have to turn into a bat. If... You plant crops like this, where it's one crop, then another crop, then another crop, and then another crop, where they're not side by side. They actually grow twice as fast as if you grow them all, you know, if you grow them side by side. Like, um, if I had just had wheat here and wheat here, just those two rows, they would grow half as fast as if they grew, if I separated them like I did, which I totally didn't know. Uh, there's a guy. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're not allowed in there, you bastard. <sighs> You're not allowed in there either. <sighs> yeah, I was not having any of that. I don't want them trampling my crops. That's why the fence is there. So, note to self, fly next time. Alrighty, let's see if our printer is done printing, because this is what I've been waiting for. I want to know if Soulbound works on the knapsack. Where is... there we go. Ah. Oh. Alright, screw it. I'm cutting. It's about bloody time. Alright, so now we got a Soulbound. A duplicate of our Soulbound. Yeah, that's pretty much how I'm going to be doing this. Is If I need to book, I'm probably going to duplicate it then use the book i know it's a little cheaty but hey that's what's in the mod pack of course half this mod pack is cheaty anyways i mean that's mostly what these mods are for all right uh anvil 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 so knapsack book takes two nice and yeah the answer to that question is yes so if i put this on now it sticks with me if I die. So if I put stuff in my knapsack, like my mining turtle, which I don't always carry around, and just random tools that I might find useful. Boop. 
then if I die, the knapsack stays nap nap yeah knapsack stays with me. And then I can throw stuff like spare weapons, spare armor, that kind of thing. That way, if I die, I can come back to where I died and still be kicking some ass. Or getting my ass handed to me, considering that's why I died. Hmm. Well, anyways, I am going to end the episode here because I didn't realize I've been talking for half an hour already. Holy crap. Um, I just want to point this out. You know how I we have this mailbox here? And I was mildly curious if it actually you know, had a mail system, um, and I thought it didn't. I now think it does. Nobody else on this server has a mailbox yet, but I'm starting to think that if I had put a package in here to somebody else, so basically what I did, I made this from me to me, so it stayed in my mailbox. I think that if I had the, if somebody else has a package and addresses it to me and puts it in their mailbox, it will get delivered to my mailbox. And the reason I think that is if somebody else comes here to look and tries to look in the mailbox, they get an unauthorized message. So you, you're, you're, it's like you're not authorized to look in this mailbox or whatever it says. So if that's the case, and as far as I can tell, there's no other component to the mailbox then what's the point of the mailbox? Well, the only thing that I can come up with is that the system's automatic. If somebody had put a package uh, to me in their mailbox, it would actually show up in my mailbox. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know if I'm right. I'm waiting for somebody else to make a mailbox so I can test. But until then, I will see you guys in the next episode. And as always, keep playing the game and have fun. And another damn sheep got out. God, how do these sheep keep getting out? Are they glitching or what? This is annoying.